Hello friends, welcome back to Journey with Miss Cohen, where reviews collide with information, education, and more. So today we're going to get into a quick review of some makeup brushes that I received. Well, let's do an unpacking and uh, review together of some makeup brushes I received from a brand on Amazon called Hey MKGO. They reached out to me and wanted to send me um, a set of their makeup brushes. I received them, so let's unpack. So they come in this pretty lavender pouch. The pouch has a handle, like a wristlet type handle on the end of it. So the pouch snaps closed, right? There are 15 brushes. And this is a brow brush here because it has the comb or the brush on the end of it for your brows. Probably use that today. I'm going to apply some makeup with these today and see how well they apply my makeup. I'm going to use, um, let's start with this brush here that I'll use to apply my foundation. Let's take a look at the brushes, first of all. They're very soft, um, very soft brushes. Here is the name of the brand here on the side. Hey, MKGO. The brushes are individually wrapped and they're very soft, very great quality, actually. It's a great quality brush. The um, fibers or bristles, whatever you want to call them, not coming off. So they're in there pretty well. It's attached pretty well inside there. They're not coming off. So we're going to use this one today and apply my foundation. So I'm just going to use a little bit here. And I usually apply my foundation with my um, fingers. But I'm going to see what this brush does today. So let's use our nice light that mirror that we received from... Um, Moto Smiles to apply my foundation. I put the foundation directly on the brush. When I'm using my hands, I usually put the foundation on my face. I'm just gonna do a light face just to see how well the brushes work and they're doing a pretty good job. I like them. They're very soft on my face. This pack of 15 is, the price is very affordable. Um, they're on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can order your set of brushes. I'm liking, I'm liking this so far. I don't like those brushes that feel rough on my face. My eyes, I don't think this is going to work. I would use a um, thinner brush to get around my eyes or just use my fingers. But I'm loving the way these are. Uh, feeling on my face. Okay, now this brush is to tame your brows, particularly contour my brows, but I know that there's a brow powder that you can use and you probably could use this brush with that. Okay, my brows which need to be threaded. This is doing a great job of brushing my brows out. Before I apply eyeshadow, I usually prime or put a little base on my eyelid to help my eyeshadow stay in place. So I'm gonna use this brush, which is pretty wide, and just apply some powder. This is just regular face powder. It's not important, it's just a base, so it holds my eyeshadow in place. And I don't have a makeup table. I usually do my makeup in the bathroom, but the lighting in my bathroom is not perfect and I don't have a ring light yet. It's on the way. I need a ring light. Now I'm going to apply some eyeshadow. The eye palette that I'm going to use today is Urban Decay On The Run G Train. Urban Decay On The Run G Train. This is G Train. So I'm going to use it. I like the colors in here. I like the emeralds and the burgundies and the golds in this um, palette. So I'm going to use it today and apply, let's see what color am I going to do? I think I will do an emerald eye, am I? Yes. Friends, I don't know what this brush is for. If anyone knows, please leave it in the comments, this curved brush, I'm not sure. I think it's for contouring uh, maybe even your nose. I usually don't contour, but I think this is for contour. And I'm thinking if you're familiar with this brush or if you're a makeup artist, please let me know in the comments what this one is. It's curved on here. But all of the brushes are great quality brush. I'm going to use a stiffer brush to apply 
my base. I'm gonna use this, I like this color. It's here, which is tunnel. I'm gonna use tunnel there as a base and see how well it goes on. Pretty good, these are great brushes. I like them. I like, I like, I like. Great brushes. Okay, I'm gonna use this flat brush, which is a little softer, and add some City Kitty. I'm gonna add City Kitty to my eyeball. Just on the top of my eyeball. This is a gold, but it's not as um, metallic as this gold. So I'm gonna add this one to the eye ball, right on my eyeball. Only in the center. Oh, let's see here. I'm gonna try the metallic one. Yes. To give it that gold right in the center. Now this one does the um, metallic, which is called Jolt. Jolt does flake, so you have to really smudge it in. Um, it will it will flake and smudge on you. I did that right on the eyeball. I usually do this eye with uh, emerald green. There's an emerald green eye that I do, where the emerald green is the base, and then I will build it with. Um, I'll use this emerald 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 green, or use this green, which is called G Train. I actually use G Train as the base sometimes, and I'll put this one on it similar to the way I did these two colors, but I'll use this and this, and then I'll use the metallic golds on top on my eyelid. Okay. Okay, yes, breakdown, I thought I did this. After I do those gold, I put the breakdown on top of that and it really brings it out. See that? Now, for the crease of my eye, I want it to be a little bit darker. So I have this palette by e.l.f. that has a deep brown in there. So I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the um, tunnel and put that in my crease here. It's nice and long, so it goes right in the crease of my eye in the corner, in the, I don't know what that's called, right underneath the bone, the brow bone. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my mascara off the camera. I apply a little face powder to this foundation and then I will apply my blush. I like to put my blush on top of my face powder Let's see if we can tone this down a little bit with the face powder. I'm gonna use this. This is e.l.f. This is the blush that I use. I'm gonna use that and apply a little bit with this blush brush. So soft. These are great quality brushes. They do not come out. The fibers are um, well attached in the brush. And it feels so good on my face. These feel great. So let's do this. I'm going to use this brush, which I think is for contouring, to apply some to apply some um, bronzer. I'll put a little bit on top of my. Okay, so. Those brushes are great. Now, the thing I would want to see is, is there a brush for applying lipstick? You can, let's see if we can try this one. How about that? Yes, see, that's a little stiff. Let's see if we can apply some lipstick with this one. I'm going to do a fuchsia lip. This is by L'Oreal. It is number 185. I'm going to um, apply some of this using the brush and just do a fuchsia lip. Oh, this is the brush. Because if you want to, if you want to line your lips, this is the perfect brush 
easy to line your lips. Just did a review on some lip liner pencils. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out at the end of this video. But this does a great job of lining your lips if you don't have uh, lip liners. But if you have lip liners, that will do it. But this will do it if you don't have them. Bubble gum and just add a little shine to the center. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate these brushes a 10. Um, I may be a little biased because I don't have, a, I don't have a, a tremendous amount of makeup brushes. I do have some that I picked up from TJ Maxx, and I have some that I've picked up from Ulta. Um, those compared to the ones I received from Hey MKGO, these are a 10, in my opinion. These are a 10. I use this one to apply my foundation, this one to apply my blush, use this one to apply my lipstick, to apply my bronzer and do my a little contouring on my nose. Well, to apply some bronzer to my nose, I wouldn't call that contouring. To apply some bronzer to my nose, I use this one. I use, yes, I use, I use this one to apply a, a base on my eyelid. Uh, I use this one to um, apply to the crease of my eye and you see how pointy it is? It goes well in the crease of your eye. So I used that one to apply eyeshadow, and I used this one to apply my base, which is flat, that's flat looking. I used this one to apply to my lid, I mean my eyeball. I used that one on my eyeball. And then I, of course, used the brow brush, is this, to apply to tame my eyebrows. And this one, I'm sure, is for contour. This is a great set, great price. Uh, great price for these brushes, 15 brushes in the pack. I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can go order your set of makeup brushes. All right, friends, that concludes my review of the makeup brushes by Hey MKGO. If you've made it this far, continue the journey with me by clicking on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you catch all of my upcoming videos. Don't forget to like and share this video. Also, leave a comment in the description. If you know the name of any of these brushes, if you've used any of these brushes, if you're a makeup person, let me know in the comments. Let me know how I did on my face today. I am still a work in progress when it comes to makeup. Um, let me know how I did. All right, friend, that concludes the review. See you next time.